Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So I'm kind of making this video at kind of a really weird time um, because I finally, actually I timed it wrong. I was supposed to make this video yesterday, but I, I, I thought I ha only had 30 of these stones, um, <laughs> but I actually made 31. So I, I guess I was like one day off. Maybe I was just really, really busy with, uh, with doing everything else um, with, with the whole, with the whole business thing as well. But Today we're going to be super evolving this um, Dark Miho, and I currently just, I, like, I actually just started crafting the new one. Um, but it did refresh around this time every single day, and it gets pushed forward a little bit every time, when, especially when I forget, because it has like a 24-hour craft time, and it's not ready until you actually go and click it and craft again. So, um, the decision right now is, do I go with the... Uh, do I go with the Opai or do I go with the Lolly? You know, she actually has three tails, not like the normal Ran. Alright, uh, the, the other thing is, like, I I have three Mihos, three Dark Mihos, and um, the one I actually want to evolve is the one on the Intuition set. Because the one on the Intuition set no, not only has high resist, but also has pretty high crit rate. Like, this one has a resist crit. Um, this one's just crit. It's it's not super high, but basically she has pretty high resist and really high crit rate. I think it's like 70, 70 something resist, and like eighty or ninety percent crit rate. Um, so yeah, it's definitely pretty good. Where is she? Yeah, this is this is the one. Um, she's she's got ninety percent crit rate and seventy six percent resist. So I think this one's actually pretty nice. I do actually want to super evolve this one. I do have two other ones. This one is a max resist one, with uh, with only 78 percent crit rate. So this one has a lot, a little bit less damage. I would actually trade the trade the crit rate for the or trade the resist for the crit rate because this is like um, nine percent less resist. But this is actually like around, um, I guess, twelve percent less crit rate compared to this one. So this one actually does have better gems. This this does have the better gem set. So I'm gonna be super evolving the one with the intuition set. I do have a third Miho, but she's not ready. So I'll probably super evolve her next. Um, she can be my next Miho. It's the it's a new Miho that I got from from last rebirth, and I currently have her on triple HP, but her her. Uh, She's not ready. She's just she's she's just not completely not ready. Her gems aren't maxed out. She's not maxed out. She's not even Evo three. She's not skill booked. Um, it's gonna cost a lot to skill book her as well. I can't find her. Where is she? I think I think she's she five star max. Did I max her? No, I think she's only four star max. I might have missed her. I'm probably like scrolling back and forth, and I already missed her like six seven times. You guys are like, she's right there, she's right there. Okay, actually, I think I put her in storage. Maybe I put her in storage. I, I... No, I remember I evil toed her. That one's not it. Okay, we're, we're going to do kinds. How about that? Okay, th this is the one. Um, so one's got 60% resist, only 30% crit, because it is on a triple HP set, but it's a... Uh, it's a pugilist, um, pugilist set. So this is 14% crit, 23% resist on this one, 23% uh, on this one as well, and also 14% uh, on this one. So this is actually pretty high resist, especially for a uh, for a dark monster. If this was on like a RGB monster, it would be almost max resist. Um, it's actually mostly this gem's fault. This one doesn't have that good of a resist stat. Like if I had like three squares, I think I probably would have had a had a little bit better resist, but she's definitely not ready. I don't have enough Mihos. Um, I could probably farm pretty fast, but I do actually want to super evolve one of them today. So she's probably going to be next. And the, the, the strategy that I thought of now only, I'm only telling you guys this. All right. So if you guys ever find me in PVP, you know how to beat me. But if, if it's anybody else that doesn't know this, like it's going to be like the craziest cheese. Um, now, uh, this, my super evolved Miho is going to be the one on the crit rate set with the intuition. So she's going to be a lot, she's going to be hitting a lot harder, but this one is on the, is on the pugilist set. 
and she's going to be much, much tankier. So what happens when people come in to fight my defense is they're going to see the super evolved one and know that it has better stats and it's going to try to kill the other, the weaker one first before they kill the super evolved one because the super evolved one's a lot harder to burst down and kill. Um, so they would go for this one, but but uh, what they don't know is this one's actually on triple HP. And the one that's super evolved is on crit rate double HP. So she actually does more damage overall. But this one um, is, is going to be tankier overall. So so like that's that's kind of a, the cheesy thing that I'm planning to do. And if you ignore this one, she's just going to hit you harder. But if you ignore this one, then uh, she's just going to start like stunning you like crazy. So it's going to be really, really annoying. That's kind of my, that's kind of my strategy here. Um, don't tell anybody else. Only, only you guys know, all right? Only you guys know. If you guys ever find me in PvP, you know how to beat me. Um, kill the super evolved one first. Okay, so... All right, that's it. We're going for the lolly. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna do it. We're gonna, we're gonna go for this one. I think this is the intuition set one. I guess it doesn't really matter because this one's like max skills, max, max leader. Every all of them have max leader as well. Um, it's just they they also have all three of them have the same gem slots, so it really doesn't matter which one I evolve. But this one just has the uh, the better uh, the better gems equipped right now, so I'm gonna be super evolving this one. All right, let's do this. Press your finger down for five seconds. Gather. Pe Power for the super stone. I'm gathering power. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Alright, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, I'm I'm glad I chose the lolly. It's uh don't judge. I'm a man of culture. Don't 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 judge me. Um now, I didn't really climb in PvP, but I guess we could test her out. We can compare her damage to the other Mihos. So I'll go with the Dark Cupid, uh... Yeah, I'll go with the Dark Cupid triple Miho comp. Um... And... Yeah, this is gonna do some crazy, crazy damage. How much, uh... Where is she? Is she gonna be number one now? No. She's just, like, kind of somewhere in the middle of my list. But yeah, she's got... Almost like without going triple HP, she's almost got 10k HP and relatively high defense. And this is gonna this is gonna hurt a lot. All right, this is gonna hurt a lot. All right, let's do this. You know, if I had the choice, I would super evolve a monster that's like a morale boost monster because um, super evolving an aggressor, although it's like kind of the because she has the best miho. But like super evolving an aggressor wastes the attack stat because aggressors don't scale with attack at all. all right, let's do a damage comparison. All right, we'll do uh, we'll do this Miho. I was like 10k. I was like 30k ish. It was like nine 9k. Okay, it didn't really do a lot more damage. Hmm, that's 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 weird. Maybe the other one has higher crit damage. She definitely does do a lot of damage. And the animation looks really nice. Okay, so the way that Super Evolution works, if you guys don't know, this bar underneath only charges up uh, what we can see her animation skill. Only charges up when she does her active once. So she has to do her active twice. Alright, that doesn't look... That doesn't look that cool. But it is pretty nice. I do like the... Uh... I do like the chibiness. Okay, uh, here's here's how we're going to make her, her bar go to full. We're going to put, put in some team morale boost, alright? This, this, this is how we're going to do it. Where is she? Okay, there. There we go. There, there's no way we don't get a full bar really fast now. We got a 30% morale boost every single turn. 
Plus, plus. Actually, no. If she gets her, oh, they're not tanking up. If she ever gets her AOE off, they're they're just all dead. I just realized that. All right, let's let's kill the uh, let's kill this thing. All right, we'll just we'll just boost her bars as much as we can. All right, there we go. That's that's a full bar on turn one. That's what I'm talking about. All right, that was uh that was pretty decent. I'd say. Alright, we gotta kill this nightmare. It's gonna armor break something. That's bad news. Ooh, that's bad. That's, that's really bad. Okay, so here's how I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna put up, put up the Kira's um, morale boost. I'm actually gonna try to stun them, actually. Hopefully they don't die from this. Oh, nice. We got a lot of stuns. Okay, we're gonna do this. And get them... And then the morale boost almost basically almost gets me a full bar. Plus the plus the bar boost. Alright, there we go. That's That's a full bar. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's let's do this. Let's see how much damage this does. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. We can go with uh, we're gonna go with times one. There we go. Ooh, that was uh, that was pretty amazing. Um, she's mostly for PvP because. For PvE, there's a lot better monsters to use. Like, I have a lot better farming monsters. Like, for farming story, I have my gins. For farming golems, I have my radices. Um, she's not really going to be used for that. I have a dragons team, like a sp specified dragons team. So, she's mostly limited to PvP. Um, but that doesn't mean that she's not good. She's she's definitely really nice. Man, this level 30 has a dark nightmare. What are you... Hacks, man. Hacks. All right, I'm going to be switching out this Dark Miho and switching her to a different Dark Miho um, very, very soon. All right, let's try this again. Unfortunately, I can't test her out anywhere else. Um, I just realized she's kind of the same. Like, she doesn't, she's not really all that different from a non-evolved Miho. She does have a bit better stats, but that's, I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> But you gotta admit the the animation looks so good. Oh no, she doesn't have a full bar on turn one. Ooh, they just they just completely melted my Kira. That was some uh, that was that was bad news. I think the Wood Arthur is doing a lot of damage. I don't think these guys can survive three AOEs by my or or two AOEs by this Miho. I think this Arthur might die. All right, very close to dying. Um, see if we can make them live. We'll do it. We'll do some morale boosting. See if she can get a full bar again. Yeah, there's no way they survive this. If I do another AOE, oh wait, 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 they might survive this. I got an idea. We go like this, and then I have them both attack this Sieg, and then she has a full bar again. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Our right, Arthur. Let's see if this one shots the Arthur. Ah, uh, not enough damage. You know what? You know what I actually want to try to do? I want to try to put her on a triple HP with very, very high crit sub stats. But it's also very hard. She also needs the resistance. Hmm. Maybe I put her on a triple... Maybe I put her on a triple HP set. Like a life set triple HP. And just like... Only have maybe about like 20% crit rate and subs. And just go like resistance the rest of the way and have like 50, 50, 60 ish resist if possible. That that actually might be best. I might be able to put a set like that together. Um, but yeah, that is, that is, that is pretty much it. That's that's the super evolved dark Miho. Uh, quite excited. Like I I do want to eventually have like my whole team be like super evolved dark Mihos. That would be that would be absolutely awesome. But again, if you want to see her stats compared to like a normal Dark Miho, uh, it is a little bit higher. This is her base stats. Actually, it's a lot higher. You know, I realized something. To make her effective, this build is not that good. I think in order to make her effective, I need to do I need to do a life build to take advantage of this really really high HP pool. Um, 
It might it might actually be the best best idea to do that. But yeah, I got my first super evolved monster. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It's it's a little bit short, but but it was sweet. It was short and sweet. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.